Oh. She my... Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name is Cisha Nika. Thank you for stopping on my channel and make sure you subscribe. Today's video, we're going to be doing a first impressions, full face, well, full ish face of Primark. The reason I say full ish is because my Primark is kind of small. I didn't get everything I need for a full face, but I got enough. All the important stuff are Primark. So yeah, if you want to see how I create this look, then make sure you keep watching. Okay, right, I need to pattern my life before I start this tutorial. It's my table looks like a bit so the first thing that i bought was the skinny brow eyebrow print pencil the skinny brow eyebrow pencil i bought a couple of them because i've tried this product before and i absolutely loved it i got the color dark brown and it comes out already it was two pounds <laughs> I met them jig jig jiggle, dance upon me, baby, whip, whip, wiggle. But she my sweet, 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 sweet one. Cut tip, man, for no I am me. That is my eyebrows done. I should have brought you closer when I was doing it, really, but yeah. That's my eyebrows done. To actually carve them out, the products that I'm going to use are not from Primark. So I'm just going to do that and then come back on camera and continue from that stage. I've got so much eyelash glue in my eyelashes. Cause I've literally, literally just been filming back to back to back to back to back to back and pick it all out but all I'm going to do is slap some eyelashes on top of it anyway so it's not really going to make a difference but if you see stuff in my eyelashes it's just eyelash glue so that's my eyebrows done why am I not in focus? this is the my perfect colour perfect finish foundation um, this is a medium coverage and it's a semi matte finish this is what it looks like um, it was £2.50 comes in a tube so I've put some on the back of my hand like this and I'm just gonna get a beauty blender and put it all over my face. Colour's actually alright. It's actually alright like this colour's better than makeup revolution mate. Makeup revolution um foundations on me oh they just do not work at all because I am a yellow undertone and they're so neutral like even though I love Makeup Revolution one thing I can't use is their foundation it has a smell to it but it's not like it's not strong it's, it's just like you can't really identify the smell either so that's good so it's definitely a medium coverage because um, my dark patches are still coming through which is all right for £2.50. I mean, I'm not really complaining. So once that's all in and blended, I'm gonna go in with the second coat. I think the foundation is not very pigmented and it's quite watery. Um, that's what I would say about it, but other than that, it's actually all right. This is definitely a buildable coverage. Um, it's looking a bit more full coverage now. Put a second layer on i actually do like the finish you can see that i've still got a bit of a like a glow the coverage is all right for two pound fifty is great the next thing that i bought is some concealers so again the color range wasn't great um so i bought three of the liquid ones and one of the sticks what the stick concealer looks like um it's literally just a stick you can wind it up comes with quite a bit of product in it as well so that's good these are the liquids so i've got three colors literally they have this little thing on it. i don't know what that's called because that's not a dove so i'm going to go in with the liquid concealer um and this is the color caramel Right, that's very close to my skin colour. I'm going to mix some of the beige in there. I think they do have more colours, but no. Like I said to you guys, my Primark is very small. So, I um, wasn't really expecting the biggest colour range. Surprised they even found stuff for me, if I'm honest. Get my Primark Beauty Blender again, and I'm just going to blend that all out. And see what that coverage is saying. That looks like I've done nothing. That has not brightened anything. It's very watery. That's one thing I'll say about these products. Very, yeah, that's that's done nothing. Let's try the stick foundation. 
see if that will make any difference. I actually like the colour of that. Quite creamy as well. Right, so let's see what that does. It kind of blend out to nothing. That is literally how I thought about this. It's just blended out to nothing. Okay, the last thing we're going to try is just beige on itself and see if that does anything. Compared to my skin tone, that's very light, so that should work. Okay, it works better than the rest, so yeah. We'll work with that. Um, these concealers were two pounds each, and the stick um, concealer was ninety p. So, I'm not really too mad at it. I'm just a very full coverage kind of girl. So, uh, not full coverage, but I do like a bit of coverage, especially when it comes to concealers. Don't really care about foundation, but concealers, I like a bit of coverage. I don't hate it. It's just not the coverage that I would really go for but it's all right make it work so for contour i'm going to use the espresso concealer um and we'll see how this this works i bought this um foundation and contour brush in the number 110 from primark also and it's just like this shape and i've been loving it for contour like i've used it before and I've been, this is so easy, like, this is so beginner friendly, like, if you're trying to learn how to contour, I suggest you get this brush, because, or if you're, even if you're not trying to learn, but if you find it hard to contour, I really suggest you get this brush, because literally, all you have to do is dab, like, it is not hard, you don't have to do that, put much pressure, like, it's great, I love this brush. I actually like the contour. But I like the colour. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. That contour colour is really nice for me. Um, yeah, it's a bit of me that. So the last thing I bought is the um, loose mineral powder. Um, let's see what colour is this? Caramel. And this was another two pound. So this is what it looks like on the front. This is what it looks like on the back. And this is like the colour. Oh, my camera's doing fucking low battery again. Like it's like the fifth millionth time it's been low battery today. I'm just trying to film my video. Why are you trying to stop? Any more progress, that's what it is. The powder that I'm going to use to set my highlight is not from Primark, so I'm not going to show you what it is. So I'm then going to use this powder to just set my contour and just set everywhere else. I quite like that powder as well to be honest. It's not cakey. I thought it might be a bit cakey, but it's actually not. It's actually alright. What a shocker! Use some setting spray just to set that. And see where we at. So right now it's just looking very um natural for for me which I don't actually have a problem with because it doesn't look bad. Like, I feel like if I stepped out like this, you wouldn't know it was Primark. So, um, yeah, I'm not really mad at it, to be honest. I'm not really mad at any of the products except for the concealer. I feel like the concealers don't have um, the coverage that I like. And I just feel like concealer should always be full coverage. Like, that's the point of concealer. It's supposed to conceal. This makeup palette was £3 and it's the Berry Velvet palette. This is what it looks like. So it has this removable thing that just has the names of the shadows on it. Oh, no focus. Really nice and really pretty. And the packaging, the packaging is really pretty as well. So I'm gonna do a really quick eye look because my camera is screaming at me because it needs some juice. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna do a really quick eye look. I'm just gonna quickly go in with this color in the corner. I'm just gonna put that all over my eye. Next, I'm gonna go in with this color here. Just gonna put that in the middle. 
I'm then going to go in with this purple colour out here. I'm going to let you all know this is a really rushed job. I'm going to then go in with this colour here, which is like a peachy pink. It's not coming up on camera, but it's like a peachy pink colour. I'm just going to put that right in the front because we'll go back over that in a second. I actually like this palette. Very pigmented, nice colour. So I'm going to get that first brush and just blend everything in. And last but not least, I'm just going to dip into this colour here which is this first colour and put that in my crease oh in the palette it's white and it's coming out a bit pink on my eyes what a nice surprise this is literally my face done what I'm going to do what's that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera and finish the rest of my face and then I'm going to come back and we can talk about this Primark product and tell you exactly how I feel about it and what I like, what I don't like and so forth. So yeah, guys, I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, I'm back. So this is the final look. Um, I finished off my lips with some lip liner, the Primark Nudes um, Lip Gloss, which just looks like this. And... Um, some lip gloss over the top i actually am very very extremely shocked at how this has turned out like the only thing that i could probably have something to say about is all the concealers i just feel like as a concealer concealers need to be full coverage like they need to be able to cover and that concealer was not covering a fucking thing but other than that the foundation like the foundation everything was just spot on the foundation was the my perfect color um foundation and this one was two pound fifty um this was the medium com coverage and it was semi matte finish and it also has vitamins e in it now um i used a beauty blender to blend this in and i do feel like the beauty blender was the best thing to use just as the consistency of it um if you guys buy this the consistency of it it I feel like you'd get streaks if you used a um, brush, but the Beauty Blender works perfectly. As a base, I, I, I don't see it, I don't have a problem with it. So yeah, Primark, one to Primark. Okay, well I've just dropped one in the concealer, so anyway, the concealers. Um, these ones, I just feel like too watery, not enough coverage. They were two pound each, so nothing I'm gonna cry over. Actually, this one, I really liked for contour. Like, if you see my contour, like it looks really good i really did like this for contour and i probably will use this um again this and the other color that just dropped no uh, okay and that one just dropped too that's how i feel about them to be honest not really feeling them um but it was worth a try the stick concealer same thing very creamy and it blends out to nothing and there's just no coverage no anything although it doesn't look bad but you 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 guys saw how much i put on how many layers just to get here the concealers are gonna have to give them a big fat no except for this one which i really do like the foundation and contour brush which is one of my favorite brushes now i use this contour every single day um this is really beginner friendly if you don't know how to contour or you find it hard to contour get this brush it's three pounds from primark and it's the 110 brush and honestly this will sort out your life all you have to literally do is it's already in the shape and you just have to dab that is literally it like it is it makes life so much easier um and yeah i really like this brush so that is um that the skinny brow eyebrow pencil my one of my favorite um pencils because sometimes i don't want to go for the dramatic look that i always go for sometimes i just want like a natural eyebrow and this literally just gives me the natural eyebrow you can still see my shape you can still see i'm actually going to zoom in. so you can still see my shape you can still see my eyebrow hairs um and they just they just look really natural i just really like them the color is also dark brown and it was two pounds and the dark brown on me just yeah i really like it no problems there really like it so that's a big thumbs up for me so we've got the eyeshadow palette which was very very pigmented um this took me about five minutes to do this eye look 
and it's actually really nice i really like it i really like the colors that are in the palette as well i like the packaging like berry velvet's there berry velvet's there picture of all the shadows i really like the packaging so this palette is a win um three pound can't really go wrong last but not least the powder i thought it would go cakey and it didn't um it worked really well it didn't give me no flashback in pictures so um the powder's fine next time i go primark i'll try the translucent powder and see if i feel the same about that but other than that i have no problems with this powder it's all right two pound again can't really go wrong um and yeah it's a loose powder which i do like as well so yeah so guys that was my full face of primark first impressions video um i hope you enjoyed and if you guys um have tried any of the primark products then comment down below make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my oh and follow my social media instagram snapchat twitter will be on the screen and it's in the description box down below thank you guys for watching i love you all and i'll see you guys in my next video okay.